I've won 15 championships in 29 seasons. I think most people would be uh, beyond content with that. I've won three titles this cycle alone, so it'd be easy for me to sit back and say, I think I'm going to relax, take it easy, sit back in my rocket chair and drink a glass of chocolate milk. People often ask, how do I stay so invested after winning so much? Doesn't it get boring? The simple answer is no. Uh, no, it doesn't get boring. I love proving the doubters wrong. There's always a new hot opinion uh, someone has or a new player that's rising in the ranks that just keeps it intriguing. Beyond that, I just want to prove to myself that I can't achieve the task at hand. I don't do it for the stats or the records. I simply play the game to win. I don't believe in moral victories. It is, and it always will be, Super Bowl or bust. The second I drop the standards below that is the second I need to stop playing the game. Because losing to me, better yet, failure to me, is sickening, is disgusting. Failure to me is death. The playoffs is when I feel like I come alive. It's win or go home, the pressure's on, the intensity's amplified, and you're playing the best competition the league has to offer. So yeah, I'll do some soul searching, I'll have to dig deep, and I'll have to wake up the echoes of the past. And maybe, just maybe, I'll have to find something that I haven't discovered quite before in myself. The playoffs are upon us, the stakes are getting higher, so it's time for the GOAT to come alive. Curious to see what adjustments he's going to make, because this is a big play. Potentially for the game. Andrew Luck scrambles, he's got nobody. Oh, and he gets a huge raise. Now, this is what makes people think that Prime has a game shark. Oh, like <laughs> as you uh -oh. say that, he gets the fumble, Whoa. but his offensive lineman recovers it. Wow. I wouldn't say that I fear playing anybody. I think you come to realize at some point you're probably going to have to face the best if you want to be the best and if you want to win the Sambari Trophy. There was a lot made of what the Ravens did last season. I think that he gave up a bye week for what appeared to be an opportunity to take me out of the playoffs. And it worked. Look, I wasn't in there. It worked until it didn't. He ended up facing a team he might not otherwise have had to play, and he was eliminated. And I'm just not one for that mentality. It's smart. But I like the idea of controlling my own destiny. I like my own circumstances. I like the idea of being at home. Someone has to come into the dome, into a climate controlled environment. They're gonna see what my record is going into the game. It's gonna be better than theirs. They're gonna see the 15 banners hanging above them. They know the animal that I am in the playoffs. And I think it just adds another layer to it. It's a different mystique, right? I'm not backpedaling in. I wanted you here. I've made, I became the number one seed because I don't care who I have to play. That said, if you're asking me who's the toughest of each conference, I'm a straight shooter. I might sound cocky, I might sound confident, but either way, I'm just telling you the truth. And the truth is, the Patriots are the only team that has beaten me this season. He's smart, he makes good adjustments, he's a tough player, he's balanced on the offensive side of the ball, he's got a good user. Uh, and that's no disrespect to the other guys. They're all great players. They have all found ways to win games in different ways. Uh, and you gotta tip your cap to them because they're in the playoffs. But common sense speaking, you've gotta say New England is the team that is a matchup nightmare. Look, he's ready to beat me once. Who's to say he can't do it again? Over in the NFC, you got some tough cats. You've got Oshi. He's always a threat. He's always in the Super Bowl. He's always winning playoff games. That user is ridiculous. Raekwon Smith is a monster, I tell you. Sunday Squad, he's the reigning champion. You can never count out a champion, right? A dangerous pass in the ball. Those pass rushers coming off the end, I've never seen anything quite like it. So in the NFC, look, you've got a great user and you got a great pass rush. Um, but I think, honestly, the Cowboys, I think Grams is due. I think it's Grams' time. I think uh, Grams is one of those guys who, if he plays his best, and doesn't beat himself, he can beat just about anybody. And I know it sounds simple or maybe cliche, but I don't think you can really say that for everyone. I've seen plenty of good playoff caliber teams play good and maybe even play their best and still lose because simply put, the other guy was a better player. Now if you're asking me 
did this season go the way I thought it would? Or has this cycle gone the way I thought it would? I think my quick answer to both is no. Uh, for a quick minute, I thought the Eagles, uh, led by the governor, was really going to take a hold of this league and show why he's the best player in this league. And for whatever reason or reasons, that didn't quite happen. And then over in the AFC, you have guys like Conk now this season, who just made a Super Bowl, obviously the previous year. And now this year, it needs a miracle to get into the big dance, right? He's on the outside looking in on the playoff picture. He's dropped a lot of games. He's obviously not playing the way he was last year. He actually recently made a guarantee to beat me. And we'll always see how that played out for him. So there are a few things that have happened this season where you have to wonder if competition is just getting closer, if the parity is that wide, or if these guys who have made it far just got hot at the right time and they just had a lot of good things go their way. Uh, but for me, which is all I can focus on right now, moving forward, uh, it's just one game at a time. I don't have any tricks up my sleeve. Uh, I don't have a game shark, even though I wish I did. Uh, I just, I guess my best trait is that I can win games just about every way possible. I can win a shootout, I can win patient football and a defensive slugfest. I, I think I can do it all, but honestly I still get nervous. I get the butterflies right before a big playoff game. And actually if you play some of the game, I'm still, still got the butterflies, the hands are sweating, my palms are sweaty, uh, my knees are weak. Uh, but hey, you know what? The playoffs are my season and they always have been. I don't know what's in the cards this year. I don't know if it'll be an early round accent or a magical run, but I do know one thing, showtime.